today we're going to be diving into some of the kookiest, some of the strangest, and some of the most downright inexplicable animals that make even the most intelligent minds alive question how they live and breathe. So get ready because today it's all about the top 10 weirdest creatures that are baffling scientists. Starting us off at number 10 is the Lowland Streaked Tenrec. Found in the tropical forests of Madagascar, this peculiar creature has a long pointed snout and a spiny coat that they use to defend themselves against predators. These little guys only live about two and a half years, but they actually become independent in about 18 to 25 days after being born. On top of that, the females also reach reproductive maturity in that same time. Time frame, which essentially means that sometimes they will begin breeding in the same season that they were born, which is so weird. Another crazy thing about these creatures is that they're the only mammal known to use stridulation for generating sound. Now, this is weird because stridulation is when animals rub together parts of their body to generate sound, and typically in the animal kingdom, it's associated with snakes and insects, which only adds to the list of things we don't understand about the lowland streaked tenrec. Next up at number nine, the black swallower. Measuring just 25 centimeters at most, these little fish have a very distinct calling card and that is that they swallow all of their food whole. But not things smaller than them, no that would only make too much sense. These strange little guys eat fish as much as 10 times their mass. So often they are found with this disproportionately distended stomach. This appetite for fish much larger than them gets them into trouble too, as sometimes they eat fish so large that they can't digest them all before before decomposition sets in, and the gases created from that process force the swallower to the ocean surface. In fact, back in 2007, a black swallower measuring about 19 centimeters was found dead off the Grand Cayman, and in its stomach was a snake mackerel that measured 86 centimeters. It's not a super rare fish or anything, but it's definitely weird and definitely catches the eye of just about anyone who sees one washed up on the shore. Coming in at number 8, the panda ant. First discovered in 1938, this tiny critter is neither panda nor ant related. It is however a small wasp. In the species only males have wings, females are left terrestrial and only get airtime during mating season when the males pick them up, do the deed and then set them back on land. Now despite its small stature, it is sometimes called a cow killer as their sting is allegedly so strong that it can subdue an adult cow, but I don't know if that's ever actually been proven before. They do however have quite vivid features which is generally associated with being venomous or poisonous so it might be possible. To top off the strange list of things about these mostly wingless wasps is the fact that they don't live in colonies which is extremely unusual and all in all they just make no sense. Coming in at number 7, Echidnas. While at first glance you might be thinking what about these adorable little pokey dudes could be so strange, well for starters it is the only other mammal other than a platypus that lays eggs. And another thing these spiny anteaters have in common with the platypus is their electroreceptive beaks to sense their food, but sadly the echidnas aren't quite as well equipped. But what I think is most strange about the echidna and potentially makes up for their lack of equipment elsewhere is a specific appendage on their underside with four heads that at first glance might look like a foot, but um, I think we can figure out its true purpose. Not to mention there is sort of a rotation system between heads to maximize the chance of reproduction with the females. And I mean it might not be the craziest looking animal at first, but it's definitely something I have never seen before. Coming in at number 6, Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle. Found in a few different places across the globe like India, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam among others, Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle is a freshwater turtle that dates back as far as 140 million years, meaning it's been around since the dinosaurs. This peculiar turtle as you can tell has no outer shell like most turtles, but instead its ribs have formed this protective plating over the back 
under its skin. But despite not having a normal shell, that's not even the weirdest part about this turtle. It actually spends just about its whole life buried underground, only letting its eyes and nose protrude, and can grow to be as long as six feet. But despite its sort of deflated pancake appearance, it actually has a bone crushing bite and is reportedly one of the fastest striking animals in the world, beating even the king cobra. They are currently considered an endangered species, but thankfully a sizable group of them was found in 2007, which gives wildlife officials a fighting chance at keeping them around. Next up at number 5, sea pigs. Like many other creatures on this list, don't let the fool you, it cannot be trusted. Unfortunately, this is not some adorable swimming pig, but a species of sea cucumber that gets its name from its round body, tube legs, and pink coloring. Found in the deepest parts of the ocean, sea pigs are difficult to study because they can't be moved much, as their fragile little water-filled bodies pretty much disintegrate when brought up from their extreme depths. Sea pigs tend to be pretty safe from most terrifying deep sea predators as their skin is laced with poison, but all that considered, they do frequently have parasites eating them from the inside out. So. I'm not sure which is worse. And just when you thought it couldn't get weirder, apparently these little guys breathe out of their butts. Some species even use it as a second mouth. Because so little research has been done on them, not much else is understood or known about them. No one knows how they mate, and no one knows how long they live. But my god, are scientists dying to find out. Next up number four, Dauphlinia armata. Commonly known as a striped anemone, the little creature almost looks like what would happen if you crossed an octopus and a jellyfish. But despite how mesmerizing it might look, you want to stay far away as possible from these little dudes, because apparently they have a brutal sting that is a huge danger to humans. Those that have been stung by the striped anemone sometimes take months to heal, if not longer. Plus, these creatures are able to literally expand the size of their bodies as if they're like Elastigirl or something, so there is no telling how far it could stretch to give you a near fatal sting. Found in the tropical waters of places like Australia, Indonesia, and the Philippines, not a ton else is known about them considering the harm they can cause humans, but I am sure scientists are dying to find out more. Coming in at number 3. Red-lipped batfish. Safe to say that when you hear the word fish, you are thinking something that swims, no? Well, this creature likes to stand out from the crowd. Solely located in the Galapagos Islands, the weirdest thing of all about this fish is that it's a terrible swimmer, and it tends to use its pectoral fins to like walk along the bottom of the ocean instead. I mean, call me old fashioned, but that does seem like a pretty important prerequisite for a fish. But the weirdest part doesn't stop there. It has these giant red lips, and no one really knows why, although it has been suggested it could be for mating purposes. You might have also noticed that it has a strange nose looking thing on its face, which is not actually a nose, but an elysium. Similar to an angler fish, it uses its elysium to lure in its prey and snatch them up quickly, kind of like fish mind control. But maybe strangest of all is that the red lipped bat fish has no known predators. I mean, minus humans and the climate crisis, that is. Coming in at number two, the sea lamprey. Also sometimes called vampire fish, likely due to the fact that they look like they're about two seconds away from sucking all of the life out of you, sea lampreys are parasitic eel-like creatures with round suckers and sharp teeth. And I mean, mm, doesn't that just sound delightful? Its mouth is completely jawless and inside is lined with razor sharp teeth that although can't kill you will absolutely hurt if they manage to latch on. But although we are more or less safe in their presence, the fish are not. After they bite, a fluid is produced which essentially stops the blood from clotting and the fish dies from blood loss and infection. For many years, there's been quite an issue with the creature infesting lakes. In fact, the sea lamprey was one of the key predators responsible for the destruction of the trout population in Lake Superior as each single sea lamprey has the potential to kill 40 pounds of fish in its 12 to 18 month 
feeding period. Thankfully at this point in time they are under much better control but let's just hope the population stays at bay. And last up today in our number one spot, the tardigrades. More commonly referred to as water bears, these little creatures measure only about 0.5 millimeters in size and make the least sense of anything I have ever read about. For starters, they can live in just about any environment. I mean, I'm talking both boiling water and solid ice, as well as incredibly dry environments. Essentially, they go into what is called a tun state, where their body dries up and appears as a lifeless ball. While in a tun state, their metabolism drops to practically nothing and it can stay like that for decades if it has to. And if that didn't hurt your brain a little, there are actually some species that can survive up to 10 days in space. They can repair pretty much all of their DNA after intense radiation damage and they have no known specialized organs that handle circulation or respiration. Just just a body cavity that houses all the fluid and transports it where it needs to go. They are pretty much indestructible and in the event of the end of the world, I would put my money on water bears and cockroaches being the only ones left. Thanks so much for watching guys, my name is Kennedy. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.